The Prime Minister is on her way home from the US after helping shape NATO's exit strategy from Afghanistan. Julia Gillard urged other countries to chip in to ensure the Afghan army can manage their own nation. Julia Gillard not only stood out in the crowd, but was seemingly singled out for a special welcome by a selective NATO host at their class photo. It's more a catch up between mates than anything else. A mate who's making a $300 million contribution to Afghan security forces and isn't a NATO partner. Uh, we haven't invested this much and lost as much as we've lost uh, to not now do the appropriate thing to sustain Afghan national security. Security forces. A warning for other nations to stump up their share of a $4 billion a year bill to sustain the Afghan army. You're right. Uh, we, we fully acknowledge uh, that uh, Australia um, has uh, contributed uh, in a very significant way. World leaders agreed that by next year, Afghan forces will control their own country, pushing allies like Australia into a support role until the unpopular combat mission ends in 2014. Leaders here call their exit strategy an irreversible transition, but no one's publicly discussing a plan B should Afghanistan implode on its own. I don't think that there's ever going to be an, an optimal point where we say this is all done. And even in your hometown, no time for rest. Despite being 15 minutes away from my house, uh, nobody would let me go home. Prime Minister Gillard is headed home, due back in Canberra tomorrow. In Chicago, Emma Dallimore, 10 News.